A zip wire plan for Liverpool city centre could bring a boost to the local economy by attracting up to 300,000 people to the city. However, the zip wire route would take visitors across St John's Garden, something that campaigners say would be inappropriate and disrespectful. I'm just gobsmacked, frankly, that this has got so far on such flimsy information and without any adequate perception of what it will mean to this area and to the people of Liverpool who are unitedly against this proposal. So perhaps I can walk you through the objections. They start at the Central Library, which we're going to muck about with, the whole of the ground floor. What happens behind all those windows? People come to register, they're dead. People come and have citizenship ceremonies. People come and get married. Every regimental and brigade aid association that I've been able to contact, and there's 60 of them with memorials here, the big one, of course, being just in front of me, the King's Regiment, will march on the town hall on behalf of their veterans and on behalf of the war dead. I'm a former Royal Marine, 20, 20 years in the Marines. I have been accused of desecrating war memorials, anything but that. We're flying 200 feet above the memorial memorials we are going to be closing for the very sensitive days during the year but I'd like to actually concentrate on the positives which is the economic benefits we're going to bring the 300,000 figure comes in we're forecasting 104,000 actual riders going down the zip line we think there's going to be for every one person riding down the zip line two people come and watch so that's including charities and birthday parties and things like that you've got the height amazing views from the top there a lot of uh, history the Catholic and the Anglican cathedrals the football stadiums and flying over at that height looking at this amazing landscape would be I think it'll be an, an, an absolute unique experience.